listen, I ain't, I don't know the prices of bikes, but something tells me a million dollars for a bike is kind of ridiculous. Like, really? How good can this bike be? How fun could it be that it's really worth one million dollars? Okay, that was pretty fun. Hey, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Last time, actually, funny story, last time never happened. My game, my PC crashed for some reason. Um, and it went back to the last time I saved, which was before I did SSN. So I had to redo everything. From SSN up to now, which was just SSN and, um, Lieutenant Surge. Thank God I didn't have to do all the Pokemon catching again. So, what lesson did I learn? To save the game. And also to not lead out with Germa against grass types, but, you know, that's, that's a lesson for another time. So, uh, yeah. We're just gonna get paralyzed. Frame one. Alright. That's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. So. Oh. This is the point in recording that I've been able to learn what the comments have told me. And that's that, um. Speed is factored into critical hit rate. Oh, that's not good. Um, so that's why Dr. Pig crits so goddamn much. Oh, get fucked, now you're confused. Oh, wow, it's... It's really rare that that happens to someone else. I mean, I love to see it. Definitely love to see it. But yeah, that's why uh, Dr. Pig crits so goddamn much. Because he's so goddamn fast. Alright. Wow, I have not been fully paralyzed yet. I know that I just jinxed it, because look, now when I go for this confusion, fully paralyzed. 100% chance. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, that's... Huh. Interesting. Hey, you level up! Alright, what do you got? A bell sprout? Well, Pepe's done well so far. Holy crap. Pepe, are you ever going to... No, he just... Wow. I'm proud of you. I really am. Do I have a paralyzed heal by any chance? No, of course not. Why would I why would I have a paralyzed heal? That would be something helpful. Looks like we're going back into town, folks. Woo! Okay, we're back in town. Thank God for space. While I'm at it, at the mart. I need more balls. I have the normal amount of balls, and I'm thinking I need... I'm just gonna wait till I can buy full heal. And if I... I'm gonna buy a lot of repels, though. Keep wild Pokemon the hell away from me. And Pokeball... 20. We're about to get to the Celadon department store. And, um, just better stores in general. So... Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just not gonna try and, um... Blah, 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 blah. Not gonna try and... What am I trying to say? We're not gonna spend too much money yet, despite our deep pockets. Plus, we might need a lot of money for the Safari Zone. <sighs> Can't wait to try to catch all the Pokemon of that place. Um, ooh, an item! TM30, what the heck? Gen 1 TMs are like a magical crapshoot. Teleport. Yeah, thank god that's a TM in this game. Alright, a hiker. This is the job for Dr. Pig. Alright. Hey, buddy. I was bored, eh? What are you, Canadian? Alright. There he is, large and in charge. 
Did I say this was a job for Dr. Pig? I meant that this was a job for uh, Pepe. Whoops. Alright, now you're slow, so that shouldn't crit. Okay. So is he just gonna crit with- yeah, I guess he he's just always gonna crit, huh? Yeah, there's the rock type that I thought I was going to run into. Alright, low kick. Not gonna one-shot, but gonna flinch. And dot- oh. Well, at least I resist that move. Dumb rock snake. Trying to actually use rock type moves. Fun fact, there are only two rock type moves in the entire game. Rock throw and rock slide. It's no wonder that Brock gave you the rock type, uh, the by TM. And not like a TM of a stat that's real. Of, of a type that matters. Alright, then we go up to here and fight you. Alright, you want to be the ultimate trainer? Alright. What Pokemon have you decided to be ultimate with? One? What is it? I'm not scared. I'm really not scared, actually. You don't have any ground-type moves. So... Don't mind me, I'm just gonna be setting you on fire repeated. The... The... San Sanshu doesn't get that naturally. Wait, wait a minute. Oh... Wait a minute! What? Sanchu, Sanchu doesn't hold, hold, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one minute. Yeah, no, that's a load of horse shit. He, that man has the fissure TM somehow, which is only obtainable by defeating the final gym leader. So that means that man's level twenty four Sanchu beat Giovanni. What the fuck? Oh, Beedrill's yellow sprite looks so good. Sure is a damn shame that I can't use him in this game. Oh, wow. Fucking ripped that Beedrill. Gone as soon as he showed up. Alright, so there's Beedrill. Get him. Alright, Fury Attack? Really? You're gonna do that to me? Alright, keep it going. Alright. Dead. And there we go! Ooh, level up for Trogdor. Cool. Rage. No, I don't want that move. I don't actually... I don't remember if it's that bad, but I, I, I remember it not being good. That might just be later generations. And, like, it's actually good in Gen 1. Because there are a few moves like that. That suck ass in later games, but are pretty good in this one. Alright, that that's a man down there. Uh, Dr. Pig. You feel this one. Ha ha ha! Come on, dude! Alright, this man just called me the Big Lebowski. And I'm gonna have to fuck him up. Alright, Chio dude. Face this pig. And his low kicks. Well. I guess. That is one way to deal with Dr. Pig. Yeah, that. That'll get the job done. I suppose. Okay, so we're just gonna move on from that. No, there's no need to think about it. We're just gonna... Yep, mm-hmm. We're going to ignore that a Pokemon blew itself up. We, we don't have to think about that. Rest in peace, Dr. Pig. Gone, but never forgotten. Alright, Germa, you're in the lead now. Yeah, there's no item over there. Had to make sure. Alright, what the hell are you? Oh, another bug trainer? Can you at least have something unique other than the Caterpie and Weedle lines? Can, can you do that for me? That was too much to ask, I see. 
All right, well, Thunder Shock it up. Stop lowering my speed. I'm still gonna outspeed you, I think. Yeah, yeah. Go, go flock off. All right. Now what's next? Let me guess. Metapod. We we're going back to Viridian Forest. Oh no, it's Weedle. Alright, well, this should still be fine. Unless I get poisoned. Well, now my speed is so low that I am almost certainly not gonna double. Or double. Christ. That's not how this game works. Oh, man. Fire Emblem on the brain. Fire Emblem on the brain. Venonat. See, that's different. I like that. That's a different Pokemon for you to be using. Oh, it's... Oh, come on. Alright, come on, Pikachu. I believe in... Germo, you fool. Absolute clown. Really, Venonat? You're gonna confuse me when I'm already confused? Come on. Be a class act, okay? Venonat, please. I understand making me get dicked over by RNG is a sound, like, strategy. But it's not cool. I don't like it. All right, we're level 24. Cool. My bugs. Sorry, buddy. Um, I guess that means Pepe in the front? Sure. All right, another dude to fight. You are taking... Hey, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the rock tunnel. What do you got? I think you have, like, the Nidoran line. That is not the Nidoran line. That is, in fact, a rat. I see. Alright, so that's not good. Because Hyper Fang hurt. But this confusion should... Yeah, oh my god, it one shot him. Wow. Alright, Diglett. Let's use confusion. I mean, at least his team seems to be a little bit more diverse than the average. Rattata, Di Diglett, I'm gonna pound the fucking shit out of you. Slap. Alright. I mean, his team's decently diverse. Ekans? Alright. Poison, normal ground, there's something going there. <sighs> Remember what I was saying earlier about moves that are really good in uh, this game that just aren't in later generations? Rap. Nothing says fair and balanced like looking at your opponent and going, you're not allowed to move. Headbutt. Cool. Goodbye, disable. That is not going to be a move that gets much usage. Alright. Sandshrew. We'll just keep Pepe in there. Unless this one also wants to bust out a fissure. I think we'll be fine. Actually, he could crit. But it don't matter, because Pepe's a fucking champion! Alright. We did it! We won! Alright, let's, um... Let's let Needlemouse get some screen time. Like, right now, against this hiker. Aren't you a little toughy? Hey, I'll have you know that I'm an average toughy. Thank you very much. Alright, so there's the Geodude. And let's just make like a meerkat and dig dig a tunnel. So now I have now I know I have to be on the lookout for fucking um self-destruct. We've reached that state of Geodude. You know, I'm going to say that Pepe can one-shot this thing, and I don't need to worry about the fact that Pepe is limping, dying, and in excruciating pain. Yeah! Alright, and Geodude. You know what? I'm going to say Pepe can one-shot these Geodudes. You don't have a special stat. 
Well, he can't, but the Geodude is stupid. So it all balances out. I've defeated a hiker. Oh yeah, I guess I should go over the grass on this route. Um, you can't catch any new species on this route. It's all, um, evolved forms of Pokemon you could catch before. Um, the Nidorino, Nidorina, and Firo can be caught on this route. So, there's no new Pokemon Spotlight for this little chunk of grass. However, soon, that will change. We're gonna use Ember. Bam. Ooh, get bent. Alright. So, while you're on fire, I'm going to set you even more on fire. That is mean. And then we'll just finish you off. Alright, perfect. Yeah. Cool. Goodbye, Junior Trainer female. When does uh, Junior Trainer non-binary drop? Alright. This line of grass is a different route. And therefore, will require some Pokemon discussion. So, you know the drill by now. I'll see you in a moment. Magneton is a real solid electric type, trading in some of the speed that electric types are typically known for, for some bulk. Though, admittedly, its bulk is a little hampered by its poor HP. The Magneton line boasts one of the highest special stats in the entire game, so it hits like a fucking truck. But if you want a good electric type move on it, you have to use the Thunderbolt TM from Lieutenant Surge's gym, as otherwise you're stuck with Thundershock the whole game. But this is actually a problem that every electric type has. None of them get Thunderbolt naturally, except Pikachu in yellow only. So I guess I can't count that against Magnemite too much when everyone has to use it. All in all, unless you have an attachment to Pikachu, it is 100% worth it to drop the rat for Magneton. He will do the job much better. Hell, Magnemite can do the job much better. While Mankey fits the bill of fast and frail fighting types, Machop fits the bill of slow and bulky fighting types. Machop hits like a truck, can take hits in return, and isn't outspeeding anything anytime soon. He actually can get a pretty decent move pool going too, as he can learn the Earthquake TM, the Dig TM, Rock Slide, and Fire Blast if you want to be really special. It's not exactly bad, especially by Gen 1 standards. The main problem with catching a Machop here is it's a trade evolution to get Machamp, and you can't do that if you don't have a friend. And like I said way earlier, there's an in-game trade that just fucking gives you a Machamp. So there's not really much point to catching Machop here, but there is a lot of worth in the Machamp line. So I'd recommend it if you like a good bulky fighting type. Alright, capturing was done. I nicknamed the Firo Jet after, um, the bird from Sonic Riders. Um, I kept the king and queen naming theme with the Nidoran, Nidorino and Nidorina, named after King DDD and Queen Erica. I don't think I need to tell you what either of them are from. <laughs> I nicknamed Machop Potemkin, because Machamp is kind of a grappler, you know, he got big hands. Potemkin, big grappler. That's how that worked from Guilty Gear. And as for Magnemite, I nicknamed it Miracle, after the infamous Insane Clown Posse song with the classic lyric, Water, Fire, Air, and Earth, Fucking Magnets, How Do They Work? And that is... What, um... What those were. Alright. So we've made some good catches. And then we can... Switch over to Dr. Pig. Who does need some screen time here. Hello there, young lady. Would you like to battle? Oh, you've never beaten a gym? Tough. Have you ever tried being really skilled? Like, did you see my fights against Misty and Lieutenant Surge? All skill on display there. Alright. There we go. Now Dr. Pig is against enemies that he can actually do something against. Love to see it. 
Clefairy. Low kick. Here we go. Dead. We have gained experience points. Marvelous. Alright. Now, it's onward to Rock Tunnel. So, people that have only played newer games might think, flat like, darkness isn't that bad. You can still kind of see. Like, flash is optional. Not in this game. You can kind of gather where you are, maybe? No, no, we just, we're just gonna use flash. And now we can see the rock tunnel. And I'm gonna be immediately reminded to use repel. Yep. After how much <clears throat> fun was in Mount Moon, I decided to learn, and you saw me buy all those repel. So let's just not deal with wild Pokemon. Yep, nothing's over there. Hello there, young man who just lurks in dark caves for some reason. I mean, you can do what you want, but why? Hey, a Cubone! Give it to me. I still want that Machamp from way earlier. Bam. Alright, so lowering my only attack... Uh... Blah, blah, blah. My Pokemon that only has attack moves attack. Real real cringe moment there, Cubone. Gotta admit, not cool. Really, really not cool. Critical hit. Perfect. I, I can't believe that actually worked when I wanted it to. Alright, so Slowpoke. Definitely not leaving Dr. Pig in against that. Alright, Germa. Fuck him up. Ow. Actually, not that much ow. Like, a little bit ow, but not too bad. Alright, that does psychological damage. Leaving an enemy trainer's Pokemon in red, 100% psychological damage. I don't like it very much. Alright, we leveled up. Cool. Alright. And then we'll just keep going. Is there another trainer on this bit? Nope. We're just going. Into a large empty room. And another Pokemaniac. What a riveting dungeon design. I say as this is a Game Boy RPG from the 90s. Like, what am I expecting? Well. I'm expecting Dr. Pig to be able to fight what he sent out against. But that didn't go so well for me there. Wow, that was a critical. Okay, so Dr. Pig. Okay, so Dr. Pig. Um, buddy, 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 buddy. Let's, um... Wow, actually, now that I think about it, I'm, I have problems with specifically Slowpoke. Alright, let's... Let's, let's deal with this thing. Does he not have a Water-type move? He might not. Headbutt, Confusion, Disable... Yeah, I don't think he has a Water-type move. Eh, dumb fucking Slowpoke. I say as I love the Slowbro line, and... Honestly, would probably use it if I didn't already decide on my Water-type later on. Mm, spoilers. And then, um, using Hypno. Let's just heal Dr. Pig up. You know? Get him in Fighting Spirit. Anything over here? Nope, that probably just exists for you to fumble about and get lost in the dark. It, like, it, it, the dungeon does kind of have to be a little confusing to necessitate Flash. But if you know where you're going, you can totally not give a flying fuck. Alright, Dr. Pig. Chop! Night. Stun Spore. Stuns for... Wow, I've... I'm getting very nice with them uh, not dying to stun spores. We're not getting paralyzed by stun spores, excuse me. Hey, Bulbasaur! 
Let's, um, let's introduce you to a nice psychic type. So, um... That's, that's even worse than Stun Spore. I, I'll be honest, I was mainly just lazy, and didn't feel like carrying around, um... The status healing items, like, individually. But I really should, shouldn't I? That is definitely something I should do. Alright. So, Trogdor, you take the lead, unless I run into a hiker. Alright, yeah, no, we're not letting that stick around. Repel, get reused. Man. Can you believe it took until Gen 5 for them to be like, Yeah, if your Repel ever runs out, just use another one, bro. It's on us. Oh, this is gonna be a fun fight. Hey, buddy. Get punched. Huh? What are you gonna do in retaliation? Oh, lower my attack when I'm hitting you with an attack-based move. Yeah, that would... Yeah, that actually would be uh, pretty intelligent, wouldn't it? Alright, well, not enough to save your life, but you... Maybe you soften me up for your next Pokemon, huh? Ah, the Cubone that I'm not staying in against. Yeah, with... I think even though he's... Even if he's poisoned, Pepe is still the best option here. Alright. Confusion. Get him. Damn. I'm getting growled at. Alright. Fine. Die. Level up to 25. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that is that. Alright, then we keep her going. Alright, now we start to fight hikers. And there's n and we're gonna fight both of them, obviously. Because I ain't bitch made. But I'm really wishing I had an antidote right now. I don't know why I'm looking through my inventory as though I'm expecting an antidote to materialize. But that's what I'm doing. Alright, Pepe. Get ready. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Alright, two Pokemon. What is it? Oh, a Machop? Well now. I have some news for you, friend. Super effective. Down he goes. Um, Onyx. Well, congratulations. Oh, that would have been... Bind in combination with my poison would have been terrible. Good thing you suck. Goodbye, hiker. Yeah, fire away. He actually does reference the song. Alright. Now it's you, Mr. Hiker Man. Your, your Pokemon techniques. Alright. What big brain techniques will you be using with a Geodude? What, what brilliant techniques are you going to show us with that Geodude? Ah, huh? I'm waiting. I was setting up a joke so that when he used self-destruct, it'd be the funniest fucking thing. But he never used self-destruct. So, that joke ended up not going anywhere. Which makes me a little sad. Right, and it's just more hikers. Yeah, believe it or not, in the mountains and caves, there are a lot of hikers. I know. Big surprise. Yeah, this tunnel is a bit long, isn't it? Alright, hiker wants to fight. Yeah, he's just gonna have a bunch of rocks. Alright, that's fine. Low kick. Yeah, there we go. This should one-shot? Okay, that might be a little annoying. Thankfully, Dr. Pig should be able to bulk all these rocks that are being thrown at him, but that means nothing if he misses low kick. And gets fully paralyzed. 
All right, I was using Karate Chop because I thought it would kill. But after, okay, to quick lay it. He ignored stat changes. Cool. My chop. Well, I have something for that. Pepe. Come on out and work your magic. Or psychic powers. Yeah, psychic isn't magic. Got him. Okay. Hiker's about to use Geodude. I might as well just leave Pepe in. Just one shot him. This is the uh the Pepe hour. Or would it be Pe yeah. It would be Pepe. Or Pepe? I don't know. I named it after a pendulum summon that I don't understand. Because I don't play modern Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Anthony, if you're watching this, I hope you're um enjoying the nickname you gave him. I should have just looked up pendulum monsters on my own and just like. He evolves at 26? I thought it was 28. No, 28 is Mankey. Alright, congratulations, Hypno. You were born into this world dying of poison. But... You're not... You're not Pepe. There he is. Fully evolved. And looking beautiful. Alright, and then there's another hiker over here. Yep. I mean, I don't know how you could be lost. It is kind of a straight... Well, I mean, I guess if you're in the dark, you don't know where you've been. And you can still pretty much tell where you've been. Alright, Onyx has really high defense. So I know for a fact this low kick won't one-shot. It almost proved me wrong. Just to spite me, I think. Alright, well, Onyx is down. And Dr. Pig grew to level 25. Love to see it. Another Onyx? Sure. I'll believe. I'll have faith in Dr. Pig and his beautiful PhD. That was a mistake. That was no longer a mistake. Fucking tackling me, what the hell? Thank God Rock Throw's accuracy is abysmal in Gen 1. I think it's like 75. Alright, Geodude. You know what, sure, we'll switch into Pepe. We'll let him handle things. Look into my pendulum. And get really, really hurt in your brain. Done. Alright. That was a uh, Hypno's debut battle. I hope y'all liked it. Like, Dr. Pig, you've done enough. Trogdor, get in there. Ow. 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 There's a third hiker. Let's do it. Outsiders, are you gatekeeping a cave? Like, what the hell? Man is out here gatekeeping a fucking cave. Fatherless behavior right here. Alright, Ember... Due to your low special- I thought that would do a little bit more. Alright. Maybe he won't realize that he can just keep throwing rocks. Okay, so he's realized he can do that. Alright. Needle Mouse. You're up. Oh, Graveler. This might be interesting. Don't mind me. I'm just digging in the ground. Oh, Defense Curl. Let's see how it is. Well, you're dead. Because it wasn't enough to withstand the radical might of Mr. Needle Mouse. Alright, so we're going back in the basement floor. I be if I remember correctly, up is the way to go. Down in, um... The remakes is the way to the Rock Slide move tutor. And, oh wait, up is an item, I think? Oh no, up is just a dead end. Right, this, this is supposed to be a little bit of a maze. Because you're fumbling about in the darkness. 
Let's keep using Needle Mouse. All right. Hikers leave twigs and trails as mark as trail markers. Huh. That's a bit of helpful knowledge, I suppose. Oh, Dr. Pig would love this. But he's suffering from crippling paralysis. Alright, well... If she sends out another normal type, I can totally tag him in. Pidgey. Jerma! You're up! Alright, ow. That might be bad. Stop doing that, Pidgey. Thank you. So, Pidgey's down. Jerma's got experience. Meowth? I believe in Dr. Pig. Let's low kick. Please don't make me flinch. Well... He didn't make me flinch. Needle Mouse! You're up. Ow. Slash. Yep, there we go. Good job, man. I have defeated another junior trainer. Alright. Is there anything down here in this version of the game? Nope. And then nothing up there either. Except a wearing off repel. Let's use it again. And let's, um. Let's heal up Pepe. He and Needle Mouse basically have to carry the rest of this dungeon. Alright, hiker. Can I beat your power? I'm certainly gonna try. Alright, three Pokemon. A Geodude! That's... That is easy enough. Gonna go dig a tunnel. You poor thing. Hey, a level up! What happens... If I taught Needle Mouse a new move... And deleted Dig for it? What would occur... I'm curious now. Very curious. Well, we'll worry about that later. Alright, Hiker is down. Yeah, out muscled by the sand slash. Another dude? I'm not in the mental state to deal with more dudes. In fact,. I'm just going to ignore you, ladies, and come back and fight you later. Because the end is past this one last lady. You came this far for Pokemon. Alright, well... What do you got? Meowth? Okay, that that's a Pokemon. Not a very powerful one, but a Pokemon. Get bent. Alright. Next up is an Oddish. Trogdor would have loved that. Unfortunately, we have no such luck. Alright. Super effective! Woo! Because that's not how that's supposed to work, but that's how it works for some reason. Yay! Yeah, so in terms of, like, dual types... If they're hit with a move, they don't read both types all the time. Which is weird. Because if I hit an Oddish with a, uh, yeah, Poison Sting. Fun fact, Needle Mouse can learn Poison Sting. <sighs> Why not, right? Like, what does he have that's worth keeping? I guess, I I guess maybe Sand Attack would have been better to delete. I don't know. All right. Like, if I used a Fire-type move on Oddish, it would recognize that it's Grass and hit it for super effective damage. If I used a Psychic-type move on, um, Oddish, 
it would register that it's poison and hit for super effective damage. If I hit it with a ground type move, it would register that it's gra uh, poison, so it would be super effective. Despite grass resisting it, because it won't register grass. For some reason. Don't, don't ask me why. That's just how it works. So we're, we're not going to worry about that for a bit. Lavender Town, the next town. We uh, don't need to worry about that. Let's uh, let's switch to Jerma up front. And we'll fight the trainers we just skipped. Hey kid, want to see my Pokemon? Um, Is this like Bill's uh, special Pokemon? Of course, Jer of course he has a Cubone. Electric's only weak to one type, and by God, did I find the guy that had it. All right, Jerma, get out of there. Pepe, you're up. Ow. Or, not ow, you do nothing to me. Suckle my dick. All right. Slow poke. Now we can switch over to Jerma. Pepe, come back. Thundershot. I actually did better than I thought. Oh, I thought it was about to get disabled as soon as I said that. What do you know? Get bent. Goodbye, Pokemaniac. Um, and as we're going up here, there's another lady over here to fight who is actually a bit of a significant trainer. Well, the fact that she's feeling faint from this long hike, that's not important. I mean, I don't know how she's fighting when she's fainted, but, you know. That's just how it be sometimes. Jerma's using Thundershock, and that should see us through this bitch easy enough. <laughs> you think you can blow Jerma away? He is unfazable. Hey, nice, a level up. Pidgeotto. Alright. We'll do it. Hey, no fair. Stop using priority moves. Holy shit, I really did not appreciate that priority move, and neither did Jerma. Alright, consider yourself dead. So, there was actually a Pokemon... Oh, hold on, we're gonna fight this hiker first. Oh, the reason this train is significant... The Pokemon here are so chunky... That should be a pink one with a floral pattern. That actually ends up happening in Gen 5 with the uh, Musharna line. So... Never let your dreams just be dreams. They can become a reality one day. Now, was Musharna just explicitly created because of that line? I mean, there's no way to prove it wasn't. But I don't think so. Unless, like, there is information that's directly stated that that's why. But I don't know that if it, if it, such information exists. Stop blowing up. Dr. Pig wants experience. Woo! All right, Dr. Pig. Okay, Onyx, yeah, no, we're, we're just gonna... We're just gonna switch. All right, Pepe... You're up. Confusion. Ha. Wow, I didn't expect a one-shot. Okay, so. I think that guy's just drunk in the jet. Oh, there's another hiker down there. All right, you know what? We'll worry about all these hikers. Not next time. Because there's a Pokemon I skipped in the rock tunnel. Because I could only catch him in the basement floor. And I couldn't go to the basement floor without progressing the game. So, we are going to go do that Pokemon Spotlight. And then, I'm going to show you all the fun things we can do in that next town down there. Lavender Town. See you in a moment. Onyx is a weird Pokemon. 
He's a balance of defense and speed, which is not normally a combination you see. Fast Pokemon are normally strong and frail, whereas defensive Pokemon are normally slow and bulky. And that type combination doesn't really help Onyx very much. His health is the first problem, as he can't use that monstrous defense stat when he's about as bulky as a Caterpie. Second, his attack stat is pitiful. Like, he won't take much damage, he'll outspeed things, and then he'll just kinda... do nothing. Yeah, Onyx is an interesting stat spread, but just cause he's interesting doesn't mean he's any good. If you want to use a Rock Ground type, just use Golem, Graveler, or Rhydon. Don't use the Rock Snake. Alright, so I nicknamed the Onyx Big Boss after Naked Snake from Metal Gear because he's a big snake. And you might be going, wouldn't Solid Snake be a better thing to name off of? Because, you know, Onyx is a Solid Snake. Yes, but the nickname Solid, it just doesn't have the same ring to it. So, it is time to show you all the fun things we can do in Lavender Town. Leave. Hey, I have a Patreon, and if you want to give me money and help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Link's in the description. I also have a Discord server, so you can be cool there too. Alright, time for the end of the episode, meme. I know that's why you're here.